Okay, section two of matrices is actually a lot easier. And it's just talking about operations to matrices. So uh, there's an adding matrices, there's multiplying by a scalar, which is just by a scaling factor. And then there is, uh, and then there's the multiplication of two matrices, one multiple one verse multiplied by the other. I think that's all there is. So again, matrices are, I mean, you can even use for different purposes. In section one, we did it to represent linear equations, but what we can think about is just, you know, some two matrices, and I'm going to start off with a two by two matrix, two rows by two columns. And when you add matrices together, they have to be they have to be of the same size. And basically what you're doing when you're adding matrices together is you add the, the corresponding entries in the matrix that are similar. So this is row one, column one, this is row one, column one. So you just add those two together. So you take 2 plus 3 is 5. That would be your new entry. The, the final matrix, when you two, add two matrices together, is the same as the original matrices. So this point, this row 1, column 2, you'd add 1 plus negative 2, which would be negative 1. Here we take 5 plus negative 4, which would be positive 1, and 7 plus negative 6, which is going to be 1. So that's my resulting matrix. And if you have a three by three, you just add again, add the corresponding values of the row and matrix, row and column. If you, if you subtract matrices, it's really the same as adding the additive inverse of the matrix. So what we could do, you can think of it in two ways. You can subtract this one from that one, or you can take you know, the added inverse of a matrix is just changing the signs of every element in the matrix. So you get negative 3, and all the other ones become positive. So negative becomes positive, positive becomes negative. So if we do um, A plus negative B, we would take A2 plus a negative 3, which would be negative 1, 1 plus 2, which would be 3, 5 plus 4, which would be 9, 7 plus 6, which would be 13. So that would be the subtraction. You could also take 2 minus 3, which would be negative 1. You'd have 2 minus a negative 2. A negative of a negative is positive, so it's 2 plus 2. Or this one here, 1 plus 2, which is 3. You'd have 5 plus a minus a negative 4. Well, negative of a negative 4 is positive 4, so it's 5 plus 4, which is 9. And then you have 7 minus a negative 3, which is the same as plus 6 minus five, 7. Minus 6 is the same as 7 plus a negative 6. Sorry, I'm subtracting here. So 7 minus a negative 6 is 7 plus 6, which is 13. So you can think of about either way. Okay, so that's that's addition and subtraction, no biggie. Uh, if you have a scalar, let's say 3a, and let's actually move it. Let's put a space in here so I don't have to rewrite this stuff. So a scalar is just a fact is a scaling factor. So 3 times a is you just take matrix a and you just multiply every term in the matrix by three. So two becomes six, one becomes three, five becomes fifteen, seven becomes twenty one. So if I had something like three A plus B, I could find what three A is. And just add matrix B, which is three negative 2, negative 4, negative 
for 6. At that point, I just add the matrices by adding the corresponding elements. So 6 plus 3 is 9. 3 plus negative 2 is 1. Fifteen plus negative four is eleven. Twenty-one plus negative six is going to be fifteen. So that's how you work with those. And if it's three by three, you just just again add the first column and first row terms, second column, you know, all the corresponding rows and columns together. But again, remember the the number of uh, the size has to be the same. It doesn't have to be square. This is an ex these are examples of square matrices because the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. But it doesn't have to be square. They just have to be the same dimensions. Now, multiplication is the most difficult one. We've actually kind of used that already because we were we did that when we created our matrix to represent the linear equations. But, uh, you know, if I say A uh, times B, so I'm just going to have AB. And the reason I don't do A with a dot or A with an X, because these mean different things. So if you're just multiplying two matrices together, you just say AB without a plus or minus, just no space. It's just like, it's just like A times B you know, in a, in a linear equation, except you're doing matrices. So let's make up two matrices again. Let's say one, two, three, four. So that's matrix A and matrix B is negative three, two, seven, ten. So if I do A times B, Now, there's some rules associated with the size of the matrices. They don't have to be square. In this case, they are square. Uh, they don't even have to be the same dimensions, but there is some relationship between the dimensions. And so the way you, you result here is going to be kind of a rule, is to get the entry up here, you take... Um, you take this entry times that entry, and then take this entry times that entry. So it's the row times the column. So this is, what we do is row one times column one. So this is row one times column one. This would be row one times column two. This would be row two times column one. And this would be row two times column two. So you can see the pattern: one, 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 two, two, one, two, two. Those are the, those are the, you know, row one, column one, row two, row one, column two. And so these consist of uh, you're adding things together. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write it out completely. So what you do is you take row one. So you take the first entry in row one times the first entry in column one and you add that to the first the product of the this one times that one so it's going to be it's going to be one times negative three plus one times negative three plus two times positive seven so that's your result in your product matrix that's the first row first column okay let me do a different color here. So now I'm going to take row one times column two. So you take you'll have one times two, one times two plus two times ten. And then we're going to do this one. You're going to do row two times column one. So you take three, you take three times negative three, three three times negative three plus four times seven and then the final entry you take row two and column two so you'll have three times two three times two plus four times ten and then there's another side this matrix right there and then you do that you do the math 
So you get negative 3 plus 14, which would be 11. Here you have 2 plus 20, so you get 22. Here we have negative 9 plus 28, which would be positive 19. And here we have 6 plus 40, which would be 46. So that's the product. That's the rule. Now, as you saw before, you can you can have, you know, if I have a matrix C, so C is a column matrix like this, which is going to be, I'm going to say it's 5 and negative 2. I can also do A times C. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4. That's matrix A times that. And the resultant is I'm going to have a two entry. I have an entry here and an entry there. Because what I really have is this is this is row one times column one, which is only one column. This is going to be row two times column one. So I don't have a column two to multiply it out. So I only have two entries. So my result I take 1 times 5, and I add that to 2 times negative 2. And then the second entry is going to be 3 times 5 plus times 5, 4 times negative 2. And then I do the math. So I get 5 minus 4, which is 1. And I get 15 minus 8, which is 7. And so that's the result. Now, one thing I can't do is I can't do C times A. That's not going to work. So this is a 2 by 2. This is a 2 by 1. Notice these are both 2. When I did a... 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2. This is 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2. These are both 2. And the result, the resulting matrix is a 2 by 2. So I have 2 by 2, 2 by 2s multiplied together to give me a 2 by 2, which is what we saw. Over here we had a 2 by 2 multiplied by a 2 by 1. The result was a 2 by 1. So if I look at C times A, what I have, C is a, C is a 2, C is a 2 by 1, and A is a 2 by 2, and notice these don't match. So that's not going to work. So if I, did, if I had a 3 by 2, I could multiply that by a 2 by anything, really as long as these two are the same. So if it's a 2 by 2, then the, res the final would be a 3 by 2. Let's do another one. Let's say it's 4 by 3. I've got a 4 by 3 matrix. I have to have a 3 by something. 3 by 4. So this is 4 rows, 3 columns. This is 3 rows, 4 columns. These two are the same, so that works out good. You can multiply them together, and the result is a 4 by 4. This one's a 3 by 2 result. This is a 2 by 2. This now actually, that one doesn't work because these didn't match in the middle. So that's the, um, that's the rule. So we'll do one more. Let's say we have a 3 by 2. So we have 3, negative 1, 2, 7, two three so this is this is a three by two and I'm gonna multiply that by a two by two so make this thing smaller so that's um one negative one two five so we can multiply these two together the resulting matrix is going to be a 3 by 2. It's going to be 3 rows by 2 columns. So what we do is we take, for this entry, we take 
row one times column one, three times one plus seven times two, so that's 14 plus three is 17. This entry we take row one times column two, so we take three times negative one, which is negative three, add that to 35, seven times five, that's 35 minus three is 32. Then we take row two, column one, so we have negative one plus four, which is three. We take row two, column two, so we have negative one times negative one, which is positive one. Two times five, which is a 10. So 10 plus one is 11. Then we take row one, column one, so two times one plus three times two, so it's two plus six, which is eight. And then we take row three, column two, so it's two times negative one, which is negative two. Three times five is 15, 15 minus two is 13. And so that is, if we call this D and this E, that's going to be D, E, D times E. So that is multiplying matrices.